I don't usually like to pick on singular entities such as one YouTube channel, but I'm gonna do it anyway. If a bunch of rich advertisers and businessmen gathered round a table and managed to boil down the key of how to turn a YouTube channel into a characterless, faceless, emotionless product with the sole purpose of maximizing capital, you'd have Watch Mojo. And you know what Watch Mojo is, even if you don't think you do. You've seen this channel before. Even if you've only sat through 30 seconds, 5 minutes, or even 2 or 3 videos of theirs, chances are you're not even gonna remember it. And that's how they get you. Because of the massive videos they have parading on their channel, through the result of sheer statistics, means that you are going to come across a Watch Mojo video at some point or another, guaranteed. And you might be saying to yourself, well, uh, well they make perfectly fine videos, what's the big problem? Well, that in itself is the biggest insult to me. When you capitalize on the idea of meaningless, predictable, inoffensive content, and now have the wealth and power to do something so much better but actively choose to stagnate yourself with absurd crap like the top 10 snow movies, or the top 10 booty songs, then I'd argue you deserve all the criticism that gets thrown your way. What makes YouTube so great? Well, I'll, I'll tell you seeing as I'm a pre-recorded video. The answer is that you get to find personalities, people, and content to get attached to. And you might say that you're attached to the Watch Mojo top 10s, and that's fine. It just means you're probably a young male millennial that doesn't want to be challenged or just has really, really low expectations for YouTube content. I mean, look, it even says it in their own channel description. It's pretty fitting that the origin of their channel was through tasteless lingerie fashion shows, but now instead of exploiting scantily clad women in lingerie fashion shows for traffic, they exploit scantily clad women from movies and television for traffic. And it's not that I don't like the idea of top 10 videos. In fact, the format is pretty useful when you want to organize a list of things into an easy to digest fun video. And people clearly like them, that's why they're so freaking popular. Difference is, unlike competent channels like Screen Junkies or Rooster Teeth, who are both technically large YouTube businesses, but how can they still stay humble? They have a clear passion with personalities and people to relate to, and I'm sure there are hardworking people that watch Mojo, but it comes across like they're working hard to get as much traffic as possible, instead of working hard for a healthy mixture of profit and passion. It only really hit me when I decided to look at their upload feed. Oh my god. Oh my god. They even clout four to five uploads a day as a good thing. Clearly their motto is to throw as much shit at the wall as possible to see what sticks. Who cares if the top 10 video game Ghost video doesn't do well, when the top 10 failed movie franchises video will smash millions of views. I've got a good idea for a top 10 list watch mojo. How about you do the top 10 most unnecessary watch mojo videos? Fuck it, let's do it right now. Number 10. Top 10 fictional movie and TV owls. Number 9. Top 10 TV grandmothers. Number 8. Top 10 movie photographers. That's exciting. Number 7. Top 10 celebrities tragically killed in car accidents. Charming. Number 6. Top 10 booty songs. I mentioned this earlier. We all know why this is a thing that exists. Number 5. Top 10 business moguls in tech. Yawn. Number 4. Top 10 infamous mass shootings in the US. Well, that's tasteful. Number three, bra size, how to measure your bust. Wait, how did that get in here? Oh yeah, because it's a real video on their channel. Number two, top 10 scariest creepypastas. I only mention this one because no creepypasta is scary, so the title is false. Number one, every other video they've ever made that all blend together into a boring, bland bowl of dry porridge oats. Ooh. Boring. I'm sure there are worse YouTube channels out there than Watch Mojo, but I don't really care about other channels for this video. Right now to wait and see if any Watch Mojo fans flock to defend their beloved YouTube thing. But either which way, you're on this video to hear my thoughts, and I think that I hate Watch Mojo. So, Watch Mojo, what do you think? You're a fan of their videos? If so, why? I would genuinely like to know. Oh, and Watch Mojo, if you happen to be watching this, I'll shit out top 10 lists for you for a fat paycheck. Call my number if you're interested at 0207 229 7770. Thanks. I'm sorry that my voice still sounds a little bit weird. It's the aftermath of the cold. Anyway, so as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out my other channel, Jar Media, and my other videos for more things and craziness. I'll see you next time. Bye!